Hello and welcome to Tech Baffle. How was your day today? Let me know in the comment section. Taking a selfie of this. Mine. Oh, it's my tennis ball. For more tech goodness, don't forget to follow me at Tech Bevel. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Today I'm trying out the black set because this packaging is basically nearly all white, so it's actually really difficult to see. So today I'm going to be looking at the Signal X Selfie Phone Clip. This is from Poundland. It's a bit of a confusing title to be honest. It's basically a lens that you clip onto your phone. It shows it on the front facing camera. And on the right here, it has a, I'll bring it up closer, it has a fish eye effect and a wide angle lens. So it's basically designed maybe to fit more people into your selfies. So, so say if you're trying to take a selfie with like three or more people, then it might be a bit difficult. So this is basically designed to fit as much people into your selfies as possible. Well, that's what we think as it's a wide angle lens. We'll find out in a minute, but I'm guessing you can actually attach this to the rear lens on the camera as well. You might not be able to, we'll soon find out. So it doesn't really matter what phone you've got, whether you've got an iPhone, Samsung Galaxy or anything else, because it clips onto your phone. It's not part of a case or it doesn't have to be magnetic or anything. I'm not sure if it works with cases or not, but I'll try that out in a minute. So I think this is pretty much it on the uh, packaging. It's very minimal. Like on the back, it's nothing except for like a very big barcode. There we go. Let's take a look inside. I don't think there's any tape on it, so it should be right. So, I'll just take this out of the plastic. So on the left here, we've got the actual selfie clip itself. And as you can see, it clips to your phone. So if your phone is less than a centimetre thick, I, it should be able to fit. It's quite a tight sort of um, clip on it, but I don't think it would cause any damage as such, as it has got these sort of rubber pieces on the inside. So, surprisingly, considering this is just a pound, this whole lens here is all metal, and I think you can get this in black as well if you don't want the silver effect, but it is actually all metal. I just thought it was plastic that was meant to look like metal, but and I'm not going to touch it, but there is glass on the front on of the lens. So the idea is, is that it has a little hole on that side and that basically sits on your phone lens so it sees out of there and turns your phone lens into a wide angle. Surprisingly, it's not just this that's in the box. So you also get a like a lens cap type thing. Just presses onto the end of it. Let's see if I can see through the viewfinder. There we go. So, yeah. So it just basically protects the lens from being scratched or fingerprints or anything if you're holding it. The actual other side of it isn't protected as such, but the actual clip covers it up most of the part, so it should be alright. So if you're interested, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but on the lens cap it says lens in big letters, and on the edge it just says for digital camera or mobile phone. So I guess you could actually attach this to a digital camera, I didn't even think about that. Like, this camera, obviously not because this is, I'm using a camcorder and it's not going to fit on that whatsoever. But I guess if you've got like a slimline digital camera, you might actually be able to fit this on here, like I said. As long as it's less than like a centimetre width or depth, then you should be okay. Also in the box, surprisingly, it actually comes with a carry case. It's like a sort of felt type uh, soft carry case, like a little pouch. And yeah, the idea is you just place it inside of there. I don't know, is it got like a little drawstring? Yeah, so each side is, again you can't see it because there you go. So yeah, it's just like a little drawstring bag which is really cool because you get this all this for a quid, I mean that is pretty unbelievable to be honest. But then we don't actually know yet if this thing is any good or not, it could be absolutely useless. Ski, what are you doing? You got your tennis ball? Where, where's the tennis ball? Where's the tennis ball? Oh, is it mine? Is it mine? Is it mine? Oh, my tennis ball. Should I throw it? Good catch. So, I've come outside to try out the wide angle lens and see how well it performs outside. It's a little bit sort of grey and windy at the moment, so you might be able to hear me. Hopefully, you can hear me still. I've sort of gone into a little bit of a shadier spot, so it should. Hopefully the sound shouldn't be too bad. 
So I'll just get the lens out of the bag itself. There it is with the lens cap still on. And that's basically what the garden looks like normally. And you can just about see Oscar wagging his tail on the side there. So that is what the camera like. This is the rear camera obviously. And that's what it looks like normally. So I'll go ahead and put this on. Uh, I've actually got the case on my phone, but I'm imagining most people probably have a case on their phone, don't they? So there you go, that is with the wide-angle lens, and look how much more I can actually fit into this shot. I mean, Oscar was like halfway out of the actual photo, wasn't he? So that makes a whole lot of difference. <laughs> That's half of Oscar. And yep, Oscar is well in the shot there, so it makes a huge difference of what you can actually fit into the shot, which is cool. So I'll just go ahead and actually take a picture so I can show you, instead of looking at a screen, so... Knowing Oscar would probably actually run off. You have to be kind of careful where you place it. I mean, I don't know if you can actually see, but you should be able to maybe see through the actual wide angle lens and get it exactly lined up. If you can see that, like the actual circle from the camera. And once you do, it should be sort of symmetrical on. So you can see a little bit of curving at the edges, which is kind of the sort of thing you'd expect on the sort of fish eye lens. But if you crop it and put it onto Instagram, I mean, it's actually pretty cool. Even if you do crop it, that is the picture before, and that is the picture after. So even if you cropped it just a tiny little bit, I mean, you can actually digital zoom in as well if you wanted to. So yeah, if I was, I've zoomed in 1.5 digital, and look, the actual circle bits actually disappeared. So I'll go ahead and take the picture again. And the actual circular bit from the fish eye lens has disappeared, but we can still actually fit more in the shot. I'll switch over to video. So this is going to be widescreen. So that's... I'm starting the video now, it just started on its own. So I'll go ahead and do the same thing. So I'm not sure it might... depends on what sort of phone or camera you've got. Let me line that up properly again. That it may cause more of a difference or less of a difference of video. With my camera, what it seems to do, it doesn't... I thought it might cause more cropping on the video, but it doesn't actually make a whole lot of difference. Just a little bit in the corners, but again, if you digital zoom just a teeny little bit, then obviously it actually cuts it out completely and you wouldn't even know that you've got the lens on it, except for the fact that you can fit a lot more in the shot. So one thing that's actually going to be really difficult to film is actually taking a selfie of this. So that's what it looks like normally, and I'll try and judge this properly. There you go, that's with it on. So you can make a judgement from yourself, I'm sure you can fit a lot more into the shot than you can without it. I can't exactly see through the viewfinder. But... So you have to make sure you get it positioned right, otherwise you won't be able to see anything. Now one thing with having a phone case is that the problem is you'll have a little bit of a gap, depending on what your case is, you'll have a little bit of a gap going over the camera, so it might be a little bit blurry around the edges. So I'll actually try it without the case as well. Normal one without a case. Here is without the lens and with the lens. Should be able to fit a lot more in the shot. So now I've basically demonstrated the actual wide angle lens. I'll do a few more shots around the garden and see how well the shots come out. Overall, I think this selfie phone clip is a great wide angle lens. It's pretty cool where you can use it on pretty much any smartphone. I also love how you get a lens cap and soft carry pouch, even though it's only a pound. One downside is my phone sometimes had difficulty focusing although it might just be my phone. Sometimes it's a little fiddly lining the lens up, but you get used to it. You can get higher quality lenses, but if you want to fit more in your photos, this is a handy accessory. Anyways, I'll go back in now, because it's actually really cold, so <laughs> I can't wait to get back inside. One more storage space, Cloud gives you the best cloud storage wherever you are. With automatic upload, you can also save photos and videos from your smartphone instantly. PCloud are so sure you'll love their cloud storage that they offer a 10 days money back guarantee. Get 500 gigabytes of storage for only $4.99 per month or upgrade to a massive 2 terabytes for only $9.99 per month. To get PCloud, click the link in the description. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button. Have any questions? Ask away in the comments. If you want more of this sort of thing, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to be notified of the next video. For more tech goodness, don't forget to follow me at TechBaffle. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Snapchat. Thanks for watching. Get all the info you need at techbaffle.com.